Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing the MAC Oval Brushes. These aren't new, they've been around for about two years now, but since the Artiste brushes are becoming really popular, I kind of wanted to do a review on the MAC ones because I did pick them up a little bit ago and I have been using them since, and I have no desire to purchase the Artiste ones after using these. So I wanted to let you know kind of my thoughts on them, which ones are worth your money, which ones may not be. These are the brushes that either look like a spoon or a toothbrush, depending on how you look at them. And they're really different. The concept of these brushes are actually designed to be used on your own face, as opposed to a brush like this, which was made for makeup artists to apply product to someone else. This is a little bit easier to apply to someone as opposed to this in going like this. But if you're using a brush on yourself, these are supposed to be made to be easier to apply product on yourself. So these are quite pricey. They range in price. This one, which I'll talk about first, is the most expensive. I believe it was around $50 Canadian, so it's up there in price, not quite as much as the Artiste ones. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Oval 6, and this is the biggest one that MAC has. To my knowledge, the MAC brushes were actually created by the same person who did the Artiste brushes, so they made these specifically for MAC. This brush in particular is really great for applying foundation to your face, cream contouring, or buffing in a mineral product, this is really, really good for. So if you use the Bare Minerals Foundation, a loose mineral foundation, this will be fantastic for buffing it into your skin. If you apply foundation, this is really good for making a full coverage. The thing I really love about the bristles of these brushes is that it doesn't soak up your product. So they're really easy to clean and your product goes the longest way that I have found with these brushes. You won't be wasting product. Some foundation brushes, the product just seeps into it like a, for example, a flat top brush like this. The product just gets in there and it's really hard to get out. With these brushes, it kind of sits on top. It doesn't fully penetrate just because it's so dense. Like this is a very dense brush. Hundreds of thousands of bristles in here, I believe. There's tons. So it's extremely dense and it makes a very good full coverage foundation brush. So I really like this for applying foundation. I'm ride or die for Beauty Blender, but if I had to choose a brush to apply foundation, I would use this. And for cream contour, it's absolutely amazing. It buffs out your cream products seamlessly. This is the easiest thing you can use. If you cream contour often, if you even use these on clients, seamless application and buffing out of cream contour the best i've ever used which brings me to the oval three which is similar to this one obviously much smaller this one apparently you can use on your eyes i personally don't like it for powder product but if i was to apply a base or something like that i like this for applying a base to the eyelid i think it works really well and also for blending out cream products so if you like to contour your nose with creams seamless. This works amazing for doing that. So highly recommend it for that. If you don't do that that often, you could probably pass on this brush. I think this one would be more beneficial, but if you're really into cream contouring, if you want a very easy way to cream contour your nose effortless, then I would pick this up and you can try it for bases for your eyes as well. I like that, but personally for me, I wouldn't use it for blending out the crease for powder products or anything like that, which it can be used for, but I don't like it for that. My only issue with these brushes are this part right here. So it's a little bit thin and to get the control I want without it feeling flimsy, not that this is overly flimsy, it just can feel that way if you use a lot of force. So I like to put my finger on the back just to have a little bit more control so that I'm not bending the brush because I really don't want to bust these. I don't think they would, but they do taper off to be kind of thin. So that's an issue of mine only with this one because that's the only one that I would really go to town on my face. The rest I don't really apply that much pressure with. And the last brush I'm going to talk about is the Linear One. And this one I think you can pass on for all those brushes if you don't use it for what I'm going to talk about. I did use this to smoke up my liner. If you do that often, then I think you would actually benefit from this brush because as I said with those brushes and cream products for blending, 
for smoking out eyeliner, this is seamless. This works so well for smoking out that liner. It's perfect. It goes along your lash line. You can buff it out. If you smoke out your eyeliner a lot, like I'm going to show you in a little clip from a tutorial I filmed, uh, then I think you would really benefit from this brush. You could also use this for contouring your nose. I personally prefer this one just because I feel like it buffs out a little bit better. But you could totally use this for cream product on your nose as well if you wanted to just get two of these brushes and you happen to smoke out your eyeliner a lot. So after using these brushes, I do really like them. I highly recommend them. If what I'm saying to you appeals to you, then definitely pick them up. I think you would like them for the uses I suggested. I do think they're really high quality. I honestly have no desire to pick up the Artiste brushes. A few people said they are better, uh, but I have no desire. These work amazing for me. I can't see anything working any better or me wanting to spend the money on an Artiste brush over these brushes because they are a little bit cheaper at MAC. And a couple of you might be wondering about the pro discount because I do have that. You have to pay full price on these even if you're a pro card member. So you do not get the discount. I purchased these online. I believe they're only available at pro stores but they could be at freestanding stores as well. I'm not sure. I purchased these online though myself and that's where you can pick them up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review and demo. If you were curious about the MAC oval brushes, I love them. And if you want to use them for the uses I suggested, I think you'd really like them as well. I don't think these brushes are a necessity, uh, but they are nice to have. I have been using them a lot since I've purchased them and it's basically the only thing I use for cream contouring it now because they're so amazing. And a fellow makeup artist actually recommended those to me for cream contour and I haven't looked back since. They're absolutely amazing for that so if you do that often and if you do it on clients you got to pick those up they're going to be amazing for your kit and for doing makeup on other people so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i'll see you guys in my next one